How's it going and welcome to this quick video where I show you exactly how I got the boots of blinding speed working as they should. Well, as I wanted them to anyway. Sadly, this only works for PC and Xbox One as far as I can tell. So anyway, let's take a look at them in action, then I'll show you how I did it. So hopefully you see my last videos on these boots where we've been playing around with standing stones, night tides, vampire sight, etc. But it still only worked in a limited way, which I found really frustrating. Anyway, a few days ago, I remembered a mod that I wanted to review a while back called Dwemer Goggles. And here it is on the Bethesda site, and I've included links in the description box below this video. Now, sadly, these are only available for PC and Xbox One, not for PS4. Now, to get these, head over to Understone Keep in Markarth and go and see Calcimo. And before you get to him, you'll find a note he's dropped on the floor. You'll need a key, and to get it, you can either pickpocket him, or I'll show you where to find a copy. Now, you'll also need a key to get into the museum. Now, you can sneak in, but there's lots of guards, and it's pretty pointless doing that. Um, now, we already got this when we did the Stendhal's Hammer quest. But you can get it by doing the quest Nimi the Poison One for Calcimo, where you simply go in to kill a giant frostbite spider in the Dwemer Ruins, and he'll give you a key um, for doing that. Anyway, to get the key for the vault, pop into the museum and into a locked area. The key is hidden under a basket, and then use a key to unlock the vault, where you'll find a book called Calcimo's Secret Findings and some Dwemer stuff. Take all of it. Now the book will tell you what you need to create this stuff. Don't get too far ahead. So when you get to the forge, you'll have three options. Dwemer goggles, Dwemer scouter for left eye, and Dwemer scouter for the right eye. But for the purposes of these boots, I wouldn't bother with them, just go for the goggles. And to make them, you'll need two Centurion Dynamo cores, four Dwemer cogs, two Dwemer gyros, three Dwarven metal ingots, one leather strip, and voila, you have a shiny new set of goggles. Now, the reason for this not being a review on these goggles and why I haven't done a, re a review on them before is because they need Sky UI to be fully functional. And Sky UI needs uh, SKSE, Script Extender, to work. And I just can't get that installed on my PC for some reason. I've tried many, many times with no joy, so I've just given up. Um, I don't know what the problem is. Anyway, 
that aside, there's still functions that still work, including light, detect life, and night eye. So we'll take a look at these goggles in action with just these functions. And to be honest, even for these features, the goggles are still worth having. Okay, so as this isn't a review of the goggles, you can play around with them yourself to uh, find out how they all work. But to get your boots of blinding speed to work, which is the purpose of the video, firstly, you need to put the boots on and then put on your goggles. Toggle on to night eye and you're good to go for as long as you like. And I'll leave you with the run from Riverwood to White Whiterun. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Love you.